I was right. Oh. <laughs> Show off. It's all, all his own world, dude. Yeah, dude. All right. Oh, you want to get one? Okay. You want me to just give you a countdown? Cool. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, so my name's Andy. Um, I'm going to be running Link to the Past, All Dungeons, Swordless. Um. <laughs> I'm Patty. I'm not going to be running a Link to the Past, All Dungeons, Swordless. Uh, I'm Supreme. And I'm the Dodecahedron. And together... <laughs> I don't think you want to try and pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right off the bat. We're going to clip out of bounds here. Are we? Hopefully. Oh, hey, there, there it is. is. Nice. All right. And we jumped up. We jumped off that ledge low enough so that we just go under the transition and we can walk around the guards. It's nice. So this this walk to Eastern after that clip is a little slow. So I told Andy I prepared a joke to tell during this time. Uh, so it is a joke. Just to be clear. Uh, I started dating a girl that was a potato, and she came from a very well-to-do family of potatoes. It was a beautiful family of very rich potatoes, and things were a little strained for a while, and finally she called it off, and I asked, why, why are you breaking up with me? What's wrong? And she said, I can't do this anymore. You're just a commentator. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> How long did that one take you to think up there? My mom actually told me that one. Not even original material? Good grief. Nothing I do is original. It probably took him longer than it took Murray to think oh. of his knock knock. <laughs> so uh, what's going on here, Andy? So right there, uh, Zelda's uh, trying to get me to find a hidden entrance into the castle. Uh, but I've, I'm a little preoccupied right it's now. It's kind of rude that you're just ignoring her. And you're, yeah. what, what happened to your uncle? <laughs> no one knows, dude. <laughs> he, so. was, he just disappeared. just never to be heard from again. So uh, we're going through Eastern here. It's a little dangerous. We have literally nothing to protect ourselves. So we're pretty much just hoping the enemies get out of our way. And uh, that's it. You know, my favorite part about this is, What's is that... that Andy just walked through a wall at the beginning, and we didn't say Never. anything about that. We were just yep. like, yeah, he's just going to click so, through the wall uh, here. And... If you guys are familiar with a lot of the Link to the Past runs you've seen, or even like the right, just the race from last uh, AGDQ, um, kind of all bets are off. It's like any and every glitch at Andy's disposal he will try to use to do this fast. This game is a very sad and broken game. So, so if you've not been introduced to the glitched categories before, you're, you're in for something very different than your usual Link to the Past experience. At least we get this nice uh, background rain audio that you don't, you're not used to. Okay. Ooh. We also get to hear the lovely beeping sound effect. <laughs> so I used uh, Link's invulnerability frames to touch the button while the anti fairies were still around it, so I didn't have to kill all the enemies because I literally couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Zelda asking pretty much, where am I? I'm taking so long. She's a little impatient for being stuck in a jail cell. I mean, her life's kind of on the line, man. You're just like traipsing around in this dungeon. I need to, I need to stock up for the ball and chain soldier. That's fair. That guy's pretty hard. Anytime you wanted to pick up a heart would be just... Soon. <laughs> We cool, Jared? We cool. Well, that's nice. Yo, know, nice, uh, nice balls there, dude. They, they were not held cooperating at all. There you go. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I missed. There we go. So the good news is Armos really isn't any different than uh, no major glitches or most categories. Oh, well, that's, that's different. Unfortunate. No, that's pretty on par. All right, so I have to make sure. Oh, there All right. you go. <laughs> well, didn't have to worry about it there. <laughs> so if we pick up the pendant before this text actually happens, the game hard locks. And that's no fun. Depends on who you ask. It's actually like interesting to see once and then hope it never happens again. You basically get stuck in that like fade out animation where the circle comes in and you just see it over yes. and, and over one. and that, over. That again. animation right now just repeats that until the end of time. And I'm just I just bring fire to the rain. <laughs> oh man. I am Do you idiot. wanna take my spot? I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't have room to talk. You'll see the real reason why he wanted to deplete that magic shortly. So essentially we want to do Eastern first just because we want to get the boots as soon as possible because we like to go fast. That's uh, all we want to do. Yeah, you're my, my court again, man. You're just unbelievable. You can look at this rarely seen Link dashing sprite where he literally <laughs> has nothing. And he's just booking it. <laughs> Wee! Swinging his arms a million miles a minute. Um, but yeah, so in the state the game is in right now, uh, if you go into a cave, you won't be able to access the select menu, which is normally used to, um, to buffer uh, one frame movements for clips. And we also don't have access to your sword swing, because you only get that when you talk to the uncle or you save Zelda. So our only options at this point are the start menu, which is god-awful, and uh, <laughs> the I'm out of magic prompt when you try to use the lamp. So since we didn't explain it, even though we brought up that we didn't explain it, the way Andy can <laughs> walk into corners and just go through the wall is something really weird to do with the way the game like places tiles and hitboxes on the overworld and in caves. So diagonals, for some reason, are really weird. And if you move Link one pixel at a time, it, the game doesn't really know what to do. And after a certain point, when you move Link on a certain pixel inside of a diagonal block, it'll either warp him up or down. So Andy knows which way Link's going to warp based on... That's good based on what pixel, I think, vertically, he goes into the wall. So essentially what happened there was going into the wall, you know, you're out of bounds. The game's going to try to force you out of the wall. Putting myself on a specific pixel will either force me upwards or downwards. And I forced myself upwards um, past the railing so that I was able to, to intention or jump off a ledge. And it jumped off the ledge underneath a floor. Um, and then there I voided out because while in this state, which is called, uh, this is the exploration glitch. Uh, while I'm in this state, voiding out uh, actually interrupts the transition from layer to layer. So the exploration glitch state is actually rearmed, so I can use it again shortly. Uh, there Hope you were taking notes. There's oh, going to be a quiz. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> nice. Well, that's fine. <laughs> not it? really. No, no. <laughs> it's not. No. Oops. He doesn't usually stop there, uh, but it's okay. Do we have time for some donations, Andy? Yes, we do. Awesome, thanks. Um, $150 from Blue Green Mikey, who says, been waiting for Andy's run all week. Thanks for repping the Link to the Past community, and can't wait to watch you randomize. All right, so if I hadn't gotten hit by that guard, I could have just bonked into that chest and gone back under the floor because of the, uh, the layer transition being interrupted. Uh, but, <laughs> oops, can't do that, so we're just going to do it normally. It's fine. I got to kill that guy. Well done. <laughs> Took a lot of hard work. So out of curiosity, why can't you do the uh, 
jump off the ledge with the Zelda save quit version of it. I don't know where it'll put me, actually. I'm being honest. Oh, because you don't have the sword yet. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it would put me uh, <laughs> at Zelda's cell or not. Right. So, huh. I'm just not going to risk it. I just didn't oh, know because totally normally either. people don't get hit by that guard. So That's exactly why I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But you get to look at the Hyrule Castle with this nice cave background, and it looks fantastic. Oh. How you doing over there, dude? I'm doing well. How are you, Patty? I'm just chilling, man. It's a comfy couch, comfy game. Comfy snakes. Those didn't look as comfy. That was, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I forgot there was a text box there. Did you also forget there was a rat there? <laughs> yeah. All right. At least I don't have to kill this key rat. That would have been unfortunate. I have a lot of keys. Uh, we'll explain that later. Because I wasn't prepared to explain it now. Because <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. I was saying it's not supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this was an adventure. So hey, we saved Zelda. They talk a lot in this game. Yeah. Speaking of talking, can I say more donations? Andy? All right, never mind. Continue. Okay. So now I need to get a... Uh, a bottle and a net. Uh, <laughs> no. No, we cannot hear the donation announcer. Just to stop all the pantomiming, we cannot hear <laughs> Rip Killer. I miss you, Rip Killer. All we hear is an echoey version of him. <laughs> he sounds so far away. Yeah, we need a bottle and a net. Because, you know, this, run, this runs a little hard sometimes. Andy's not very good. Yeah. It's, it's nice to have a fairy, you know, for, for safety reasons. Um, I think that's something we're, we're all familiar with. We're not... Maybe. No one's actually good at this game. What, needing the bottle and the net? <laughs> yeah. I think, like, the top ten people that speedrun this game all still get bottles and nets when they run. Huh. Yeah. Now can I read some donations? No. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read some. All right. Um, so uh, $1,000 from Pug Farm. <laughs> oh, no, Dang, son. Where'd you there find you this? Sending all our support to Andy during this awesome swordless run. Here's to three blue balls. No death at... Cold stare, <laughs> the W word, and all the Andy Wandy ats. Can we get a what from the couch? What? 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 Let this go to Andy's choice. Love from the pug farm. I love my pug farm. And where would you like that to go to? Uh, let's kill the animals because I like to go fast. Because you like your all pug right. farm. Because <laughs> I like my pug farm. <laughs> let's kill the animals, exactly. Goodness gracious. All right, so this slug is a little scary. Oh, my. We're just going <laughs> to we're gonna redo that. Do slugs do four or six hearts of damage? Four. Yeah. Boom, boom. What are you doing up here? Down, down here. Okay. <laughs> All right, we made it through that room. It's fine. Um, dying there would be not good. Anyway, so now that I have the use of my, my sword slash, I can use that to buffer my one-frame movements instead of the select menu. 
And now we're uh, going to get a fairy and a heal here. And we're in the Tower of Hera. You know, pretty normal stuff. Makes sense to me. Um, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> That's fine. Completely normal. Holy moly. What, uh, <laughs> Holy Love, moly. Loving the Andy noises. <laughs> <laughs> and the music's yeah, back. The music. Nice. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. So we're going to open this chest. Um, so in the cave state, the game actually does a check for a big key. Um, if you have the big key from the ball and chain soldier, you can actually open any big chest if you're in the cave state. Um, and then for small key doors, the game actually only checks if you have zero keys. If you have zero keys, the game will not allow you to open a uh, locked door. But in a cave state, the game does not have a default value of zero for keys. So because it doesn't say you, you have zero, it allows you to open all the small key doors. Uh, it's a well-programmed game. That clip you can actually do without doing anything else. You just walk off the right side of that hole and you land on the wall. It's a really, really video game. <sighs> All right. Please stop getting hit. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna die, man. man. Oh, Don't do it. Dang, oh, dude. Oh man. Well, that's unfortunate. At least I got that fairy. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was no. really beneficial. Oh, yeah. So now just walk upstairs. Get, um, swim oh, upstairs. You all right? Oh. I mean, I have a little trouble walking right now. Uh, <laughs> just chomping huh. on that. Have floor. you ever? Have you ever just? Have you ever just <laughs> doggy paddled through tile before? <laughs> I have actually. It's a good workout. Really works those tries. Yeah, buns and thighs. <laughs> All right, now we're going to get the hook shot, and we're done with this first little collection bit. All right, now we're off to Death Mountain. Going to pick up this bad boy real quick. It really helps me out. Good old sink heart. All right, so here's another form of clipping. Um, in outdoor diagonal walls, you can actually use the boots to clip. Um, if you're holding your sword out, because I'm clearly holding my sword out right here, um, you can just hit a direction and... Oh, that was one pixel too far. Hold a direction and dash at the same time, and you can go one pixel into the wall. There we go. Now for a completely normal excursion up Death Mount. And hey, there's the door. So what I did was I, I teleported myself from the, the wall clip uh, upwards, which allowed me to transition right when it normally wouldn't allow you to. And the screen to the right of that is Death Mountain, so you just have to scroll the screen properly so the loading zone is on there. Because if it's not, the game doesn't really know where to fade out to, and it actually will take a very long time to fade out, because the game's just like, I don't know what to do. Okay, now we're gonna get the mirror. Um, so coming up, I'm going to use the hook shot to clip off the bottom of Death Mountain. Um, jumping off the bottom of Death Mountain on uh, certain pixels actually wraps Link up to the top of the mountain, but the game will still uh, think of me position-wise as going down from the mountain. So as I'm going down the mountain, the game is slowly pushing me downwards. I'll open up the map so you can you can see what this game thinks is happening right now. So as you can see, I'm gonna open this map up and the game just thinks I'm on the pyramid in Dark World right now. Uh, <laughs> That's awfully convenient. Yeah, so I'm gonna mirror right here. Go into this loading zone. And then I'm gonna take a nice death here. Hot and fresh, ready in two minutes or less. So if you save and quit when you have a Dark World's uh, teleport on the overworld, it actually goes away. But if you uh, take a death and uh, warp like that, it does not. So we, we do that to get to Link's house. We do that to get to Link's house quickly. I participated. <laughs> 
um, so that we can get to this warp that is conveniently placed in Hyrule Castle Courtyard. And we're in the Fat Fairy Fountain. That's clearly where you drop the warp. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> so here we're going to get some silver arrows. We don't really need them, but they make things a lot faster and a lot easier. Uh, the most notable time gain is probably on Vitreous, because that boss sucks. We're also going to get a green potion. <sighs> What's got you giggling, Andrew? I just like magic, you know? <laughs> um, so coming up next is a, a trick that uh, I like to call uh, Hyrule 24 Care Magic. Um, we're going to use this green potion to just get all sorts of money. Okay. You didn't drink the potion. I didn't. I'm proud of you. Oh, uh, okay. I thought you were going to give us the plaid there for a minute. I'm a dangerous man with some rupees in my pocket. Keep up. <laughs> Why are you mad? Fix your face. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I have 999 rupees now. Um, using a potion the same frame as a screen transition causes the potion to do something completely different than what it's supposed to. Um, fluting from inside a dungeon um, is you know, not normally intended. Um, so the screen that you flute to will always look the same, but what is actually there will be completely different. And it just so happens that when we flute to one, there's just one little tile with uh, infinitely spawning blue rupees. Okay, cool. I saw Flock there for the first time this week, and I didn't know how it happened, and I was really <laughs> worried that it was going to happen during this. But it did not, so we're good. Um, I usually say that hookshot dashing... Item dashing is a thing. Uh, hitting the item button and the dash button at the same time uh, does an item dash. It's a Japanese 1.0 only glitch. And doing it with the hookshot actually puts Link in a glitch state where it's very easy to just walk right through corners in the overworld. <laughs> so we do need the flute. The flute speeds things up a lot. Got time for the donations real quick? Yes, sir. Oh, you betcha. Awesome. Uh, $25 from Ishbinder, who says, Yo, Rib Killer reading donations, Patty and Jordan on the couch, and Andy ignoring them all? Sounds like a good time. Enjoy, guys, and good luck. Andy, gotta go fast. Jordan doesn't even have a mic. What the heck? He can't even speak up for himself. It's all right, Jordan. Mm. Thanks, man. <laughs> $100 from Pithy, who says, Shout out to the most entertaining couch of SGQ so far. Keep it up, guys, and good luck to Andy on the run. All right, so uh, I don't That's have good. Titan's mitts right now, so we just kind of were like, yeah, we just, you know, go in the wall and... <laughs> eh, eh. Just go in the wall. Whatever. All right, so we're going we're gonna to unlock the duck, the bird, whatever you want to call him. No one knows what his actual identity is. The rooster... <laughs> it's the hardest trick you're going to see all game. <laughs> so, Andy, why do you need another bottle, man? You need two fairies? Yeah, we're going to get some potions. You know, I'm, I'm a little scared of the next dungeon. Actually. <laughs> But we, I'm going to get a blue potion and a green potion um, for some shenanigans later. Ooh. If you enjoyed the flute shenanigans from before, you're in for a treat. Say shenanigans one more time. Shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> that was really aggressive. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, what are we doing next, Andy? <laughs> I'm going to clip through a rail and you're go out of bowling. bounds.
Yeah, You're just, going just to. me. Just you. This Have you time. ever done this before? What, what, what exactly are you are you doing? With the, are you playing the game right now? I've been watching Andy practice this game throughout this week, and I ask questions. I was like, so, so what are you doing now? And he'll say, so what we're doing next? And it's like, okay. oh, I get to I get to participate now. This is good. That's why he turned around and very assertively said, so what we're doing. <laughs> And sometimes you just need a participation trophy. I have a lot of those. <laughs> huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so normally this dungeon, you know, you come in here with like seven or eight hearts and a sword. Uh, <laughs> but we... <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have one, so it's a, it's, a little, it's a little scary. Barney just wanted a hug. All right, Patrick. <laughs> yes? Not you. <laughs> oh. Those. Oh my. Oh yeah, Patrick oh Stars. My. Patrick Stars, dude. Oh my goodness. Woo. All right, we're fine. Good help. Fire well. Snake actually helped me out there. I'd like to say that D boost was 100% intentional, but it was 100% not. Um, okay. So this dungeon is pretty normal. We won't be getting the hammer because I don't have. Uh, you mean the Titans Mints? Yes, I won't be getting the Titans Mints because I don't have the hammer. There we go. There it Flip is. Flip that around a little bit. That's not going to blow it up. Nope. Oh. Ooh. That's fine. So the reason he dies there <laughs> is that he wants to restart the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see him. All right, we didn't dash into him. Perfect. Okay, so we just have to go back up there, bomb the, bomb the floor. Everything will be right back on track. I'm, I apologize in advance to me for not getting world record. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a fat thumbs down. <laughs> you know, see what happens when Patrick's nice. It's just nice and. Nice and I, easy. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Since we've already seen this part, can I read some donations? <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Rib Killer, everyone. What a great host. Get to or we're not going to be there for long. All right. Uh, let's see here. $50 from Karsten44. Somehow I'm remembering a link to the past differently. Weird. Also, Frame the kills, animal the saves. That's not right. It's not right at all. Uh, $150 from Buttered Behind. Yo, it's the guy running the games. Hi, longtime watcher, somewhat regular donator. GDQ does so much for so many. I'm proud to be a part of it. Anyway, let's kill us some animals, hmm? My boy Buttered Behind. Have we also seen this already? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> You can read another donation, though. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Um, we cool. $50 from Anonymous. Question for the couch. Does pineapple go on pizza? Donation goes to Runner's Choice. I mean, yeah, I'm going to say no. Uh, it depends. I'm going to say it can. I, I got to... <laughs> it can. That's a good one. I was going like to say, that. can and should are like two completely different things. Like, yes. It can go on pizza. I got to be in the mood for it. No comment. It's really good of you to stay neutral on these hot button issues. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me a lot. <laughs> that a noun or an adjective? <laughs> You'll see it in the next edition of Miriam Webster. <laughs> We're getting confirmation from staff that pineapple does, in fact, not go on pizza. Okay. So the only weapon we actually have to fight blind currently is this nice old cane of Samaria. So you might not have uh, seen the fight like this before. Normally uh, the cane doesn't damage him, but Andy's manipulated the memory of the game. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't lie to the children. Yeah, you can do this normally. 
Woo-hoo, all right. I just really enjoy the irony of that fight in this run where you defeat blind using a cane. <laughs> you know, I never actually thought of that. <laughs> But that is uh, it's a pretty scary fight. We only have five hearts maximum. So uh, it can go pretty wrong pretty quick. But it went pretty well. So I'm happy. That's what's important. It going well or me being happy? You being happy. I care about you. Thanks, Patrick. We can take a donation now. <laughs> sure. Um... $50 from Retrovolt, who says, Greetings, Andy. This is Retrovolt. I had to donate during the Link to the Past Swordless run. You and the LTTP Discord helped me out so much with re the research for my video about this run, and I wanted to thank you. Here's hoping that your screen wraps are successful and your YBA perfectly timed. Also, kill the animals. Well, that was unfortunate. I forgot I died. Uh, so when I transitioned... When I, when I beat Blind, I was in like a hybrid light world, dark world kind of thing. And when I transitioned, the game put me in the light world, and that was bad. Uh, so I can fix it. It's just a little inconvenience. You just got to come up here and jump off the mountain. You get to see a fun little, little glitch clip kind of thing. Yeah, this run's just full of so many weird tricks and glitches and strange things that you mess up one thing and it kind of can have a chain reaction on everything else you're trying to do. So there's a lot to of walk through a tree. It's pretty hard. That's nah, easy. You just got to believe in yourself. Mm. Is that all it takes? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Maybe an ax. It's always catch. Always catch. Oof. All right. So Coming from Skull was pretty quick. There's going to be a pretty significant glitch uh, that we call a door juke. Um, so I'm going to... Normally you can't take things above your head into doorways. It'll treat you... Treats it as a wall. And so I'm going to do that, and the game's going to treat me as I'm out of bounds. So it's going to try to pop me out, and it's not going to work very well. I'm actually going to pop around this upward screen transition, which causes the game to load different memory into this room. Puts the big key in this chest, and this normally junk room that's right here is now the conveniently placed uh, big chest room. So you can see the screen scroll, or the screen lock, is a little, a little messed up right now. Get the nice fire rod, and we're going we're gonna to go through this door. Glad I could help. <laughs> so here is what we call the Skullwoods Mega Route. Um, we're going to flute from this dungeon via uh, YBA glitch to 8, and <laughs> uh, now we're just roaming the, the underworld, as we like to call it. Uh, basically, every cave and dungeon is all connected, um, so fluting from Skullwoods you know, causes a little stuff to happen. Um, a the, little stuff. Yeah, a little stuff. Little you know, stuff. This, is, this is pretty minor. Um, <laughs> but because I fluted from Skullwoods, the game still thinks I'm in Skullwoods, so I have the big key property still. So I'm going to be going around unlocking big key doors. I've already opened the Palace of Darkness door. Um, this door right here is in Ganon's Tower. And yes, the staircases still work for some reason. What reason? I, don't, I think that would take more time than the rest of this run to probably explain. Yeah, Super Scudge isn't here to, to just unload knowledge on everyone, unfortunately. Super Scudge is... He knows a lot about this game. He figured out a lot of this stuff, I think, and yes. this he, run would not exist without him, so shout-outs to that guy, yes. Super Scudge. Cool He's dude. my boy. All right, coming up here... Sorry for resetting your console. Oh, man. So that was the uh, Turtle Rock door. And then there's one more door we're going to open. You know what dungeon this is, Patty? Does it look familiar to you? I've never played this game. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you on my couch? I don't know. You asked me. That's a lot of... Um... <laughs> That's a good question. 
Anyways, here's the, here's the fabled fish room that you almost never see in a speedrun. And here is the Misery Meyer door. When, when would you see it in a speedrun? Never. Why? You said almost never. I mean, when you're bad at the game, you might see it. Sometimes you get lost, dude. Misery Meyer is complicated. I don't get it. It's all right. We'll explain it later. OK. So the rest of Skullwoods is pretty quick. Um, there is one thing interesting to Swordless, is that normally there's a, a room with a vine that you have to cut to, to, to go past to get to Mothula. And you know, we don't really have a sword to cut that vine, so we're going to have to find some way to get around that. So similar to the, uh, <laughs> the door juke I did before, uh, I'm going to put this Mario block in the door, but instead of uh, going back down through the transition, I'm actually going to go up. And that's going to it's going to do some wonky stuff. You weren't kidding. Oh my god, this menu is fantastic. I love it. Yeah, you can menu. actually see. <laughs> so, what <laughs> what happens to the screen after that happens is completely random. Sometimes I can barely see anything and my menu is just invisible. Nice but, three. <laughs> but this is this is perfect sort of. I'm going to be honest, I thought the entire reason you did that was just because it was fast, not because you could I thought the fire rod would just burn it down, that little door block. What do you think block. this is, Breath of the Wild? Yeah, that would make too much sense. No, this is a good video game. Ooh. 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 Mm. Hot take. Mm -mm -mm. Happy thoughts, Andy. Happy thoughts. So, um, most of you guys have probably seen it run by now, but um, Mothula if you knock him into the spikes, will not take damage, so he's really not cooperating with Andy in, in the slightest. You'd think that they'd program a boss to take damage no matter what, considering how well they program the rest of this game. I mean, look at it. I, I it's, mean, it's a beautiful video game. Oh, he beat him. <laughs> yeah, so the only issue with that is... Um, is because the only thing we have to hurt Mothula is the Fire Rod, uh, which uses magic. We only have a limited amount of magic, so hitting him into the spikes too many times, we might not be able to kill him. Um, but as long as you're patient and wait for, wait for him to get off the wall, it should be fine normally. Donations? Yeah. Anytime cool. you see this screen, Ripkilla, you can read donations. Okay. I, I hope you don't see that screen too much. Though. Okay. All right, cool. $250 from Romwood, who says, Almost missed one of my favorite weeks of the year. Happy to catch a Zelda block. Thanks for all you, fo for, thanks for all you folks do. G-L-H-F. I'm proud of you, Jared. Thanks. I can read. Um, <laughs> $150 from Jason201, who says, This swordless run of Link to the Past is crazy. Good luck on the rest of the run and kill the animals. So I'm going to be stopping by the witch's hut, getting some more potions. We need two more for the rest of the run. All right, now we're off to Palace of Darkness. Here we go. I like when the screen goes black because I can see Andy's reflection in the TV. <laughs> These are new and exciting things for you, aren't they? The angle's perfect. It's just the game feed goes away and you just see Andy's face like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, another clip. Oh. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Way to go, Patty. Look what you did. I told you I participate. As I say, if you want to take credit for the good, you got to take credit for the bad, too. No, that's not his style. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's hurtful. It's but true, is it true, but it's hurtful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so because we've opened the Palace of Darkness big key door already, I don't want to get the big key. So I'm going to get the hammer before reloading the dungeon properly. As you can see, there's no sprites anywhere, so going down to the Helmosaur room, I wouldn't even be able to because like, there's no crystal switches to, to hit them with, to make the switches go down. All right, I'm going to try this thing real quick. <laughs> no, 
And we'll give it one more go. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> So, bomb jump is bomb jump is great and all, um, but we don't have a way to get out of that little square. Um, if I had actually been able to, been, I'm not so rubbing easy, off. Not on, so easy, is you're, it? You're rubbing <laughs> off on me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if we can hover clip through that railing, you can actually open the chest while still stuck in the rail, and just void back to the entrance of this room. So it saves a little time, but it's it's a little difficult. I've only done it a handful of times. <sighs> but now that we have the hammer, I can load the dungeon and we can be on our merry way. Oh, and hovering works. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can only release the A button for two frames at one frame. Jeez. Oh, My bad. <laughs> yeah, just one. Every 30 frames. 30 Every 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah. Once every 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't know why they gave me a mic. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> That's exactly why you're here, Patrick. <laughs> Andy came up to me. Hey, can you embarrass yourself in front of thousands of people for my pleasure? Sure. <laughs> So we have the silver arrows, so we're going to make pretty quick work of these mimics. And then I'm going to be doing another potion glitch, um, which is actually called YBA, or Yuzuhara Bottle Adventure, named after the Japanese Tasser who found it. There we go. So the way, the way those glitches work, essentially, is they all, uh, when you use an item, it has a value that it pulls from a table. And whatever the value is associated with, Um, whatever the value is associated with, um, it'll do that action. But doing using an item the same frame as a screen transition actually adds one to the value that it pulls, which is why they do different things. Um, anyways, here's Homosaur. Hammer is mass 17 times. You don't seem too scared of this boss. Nah. He knows his tricks. It's I know about the patty corner, actually. Really helps me out. Do you want to? Do you want to explain the patty corner? If you go down here, when you're really scared and he's flailing about, that's the patty corner. <laughs> How does it feel to have something in this game named after you? Just go to the corner like the when you're scared. That's what's named after me. Yeah. It's like, all right, man. <laughs> I refer to it as it. the safety corner, <laughs> but if you want to call it the patty corner, be my guest. Hey, Ripkilla. Yeah, it looks like it's donation screen, so let me read <laughs> off uh, some donations here. Uh, $50 from Muffy the Great, who says, Really digging the new Drive Patty Insane Percent route. Can we go back to the one heart for a bit? Another $25 if you can crack a new original potato pun. Let's put this towards Shattered Man on the last glitch. Hurrah, right at the end. You have to come up with something original. <laughs> I only came prepared with one, and it wasn't mine. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to let him rack his brain with that yeah, I'll one save bit. you. I'll save you and read another donation. I'll go to R&D uh, real quick. $100 from Das Quacken. Dying laughing on my own couch while the wife tries to sleep. Keep up the great commentary. Had to donate during the game that defined my childhood. Kill the animals and save the frames. All right, so this is probably the most complicated glitch in this game that you'll ever see. Um, if you'd like to <laughs> so break out the pace bin dode. All right, so we're reading from the book of Super Scudge. Uh, with this frame perfect death here, um, basically when you die, uh, the same frame that you fall down a hole and the screen transitions, um, it increments the sub mode, which results in a broken mode sub mode combination. The room number in RAM changes to that of the room below, however, it is never loaded. Thus, transitioning north places you. <laughs> in the room north of the room, below this one, from which you can jump through a wall to activate EG. This also underflows the room number from 10 to 250, which causes all sprites to despawn, including the mantle blocking the sewers and escape. What? 
<laughs> I feel like I just went to a university lecture. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Thank you, Scotch. That was like graduate level A Link to the Past. <laughs> Do I have time to plug a quick donation incentive? Yes. You make it real quick. Okay. Um, so at the end of this run, uh, there's the Zelda 2 choose the file name uh, incentive, and that will be done after this run is over. So currently, Lunk is in the lead with $1,858.43, uh, followed by Error with $1,532.52. So again, uh, you have until the end of this run to get that in, and then we will close that incentive. Thanks, man. All right, so now, um, Hyrule Castle is the only dungeon that has one screen transition that goes from dungeon to not dungeon, uh, which is that transition right there. Um, so what happened right there is the game changed the dungeon ID value. Um, so when you're in Palace of Darkness, you know, the dungeon ID value is linked to darkness. But uh, after going through that screen transition, the game actually thinks I'm in Misery Mire right now because it subtracted from, from the current dungeon ID. Um, and then this, this door right here is uh, geographically inaccurate, as it was explained to me. So just going through it, the game has no idea what to do and just respawns all the sprites. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the technical... Uh, <laughs> It's called cheating. <laughs> so the reason that we do this glitch is because normally you would need a sword to enter Misery Mire to obtain the Ether Medallion. Uh, but because this is a swordless run, we have to adjust the game's ID for these dungeons. Um, and as a result, like you can't just go straight to the Misery Mire boss. Uh, you actually have to change the ID so that Vitreus d ends up loading. And um, by defeating him, you can collect the crystal. So essentially, we had to despawn all the sprites because the throne or the shelf was blocking the, the doorway. And then after we went through that door, we had to respawn all the sprites to get this glitch to work. But now we're in Misery Mire. Everything's properly ID'd. Um, we're, we'll be good to go pretty soon. Can't wait. Hey, uh, Rip Killer. Yeah. You want to read a donation there, Big Guy? I mean, if you want. Go for it. Um, $25 from Lupon, who says, I've played ALTTP once a year since the day it came out, but I've never seen it played in such an entertaining way. Love you guys and love you, GDQ. All right, so Vitreus um, is normally one of the scariest bosses. He's got a lot of eyeballs that do a lot of damage. And he shoots lightning. I see what you mean. But with silver arrows, um, yeah. Pretty, we're pretty we're patiently waiting. I think that's the second Jordan reference we've made today. And yeah, I said patiently waiting. Oh, right, my turn. Um, <laughs> $25 from Peter203, who says, Greetings from Stockholm. SGDQ has been a nice backdrop to rest my eyes on while working this week. Keep up the good work and kill those cute jumping goats. As you can see, these text boxes are pretty normal. You know, normally there's two of them and they overlap te terribly. Uh, that's because of the uh, game over screen being stuck on the screen. <laughs> and now there's just this line it's of like, text. Hey, I can do it. There. I just love the absence of the schwing noise at the end there. Right, so since Desert's right here, uh, we're just going to pop right in, make some quick work of it. We do actually need the power gloves. Uh, the power gloves are required for this run because of Cold Stare. They're so bad. After years of this game, that's not funny to any of us anymore, but I did it for you guys at home. 
I don't like myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can read donations during this dungeon. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Awesome. <clears throat> so, $50 from Andy Bob. Finally found the time to donate, too. Let's get that Kingdom Hearts run on the way. Oh, and thanks to everyone responsible for making this event happen year and year again. Show the world the awesome things this community can do. $200 from SNES Central, who says, a big fan of... A, <clears throat> As a big SNES fan in Europe, this is the only run I can watch live. Excited to see this unique Link to the Past run. Very happy to be supporting Doctors Without Borders. $25 from GC Kid 333 Been waiting all night for the Zelda block. Good luck on your run, Andy. Hey, thanks, man. $25 from GeoTim90111. Look at all those Zelda goodies. I cannot resist. This donation goes towards the Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix bonus game. $10 from Philonia. Enjoying the run. Good luck, Andy. $100 from an old man. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Let's see what they did. That was clever. I yeah. like that. That was impressive. That was uh, good. More clever than your potato puns. Let's I say, yeah, I can't think of a new one. Yeah, I meet can't. with the old man. <laughs> All, all, I, all I've come up with is that she had a kid, she named it Tater Tot. I... <laughs> That's a Ron White joke. Dude. I That's know, like exactly. 15 years old at least. Anyways, $50 from Urbear. Love you and your couch you have here, Andy. Been waiting all week for this run to donate. Money goes to Runner's Choice. I'm proud of us for getting a Ron White reference here in the year 2017. I'm just trying to bring back the classics, dude. <laughs> Silver arrows are a little strong. Yeah. All right. Well, now I need to get the ice rod. I just. I wouldn't know I, anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I just had to. I just felt like I had to say it. I don't really know why. Um, and then up next will be Tower of Hera. $10 from Pook, who says, First time watching GDQ, save the frames. <laughs> Dude, that crab was on that a mission, crab man. That was out for blood. <laughs> Not that it would have, like, mattered, but it was just, crabs are scary, man. Crabs are the only light world, overworld enemies that do two hearts of damage. It's very true. Thank you for validating. <laughs> we got to fact check you. <laughs> you said you never played this game before. How do you know? I read a book about it. <laughs> 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 That's what you took away from it, that crabs do two hearts of damage? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm in Hera. You know, looked like it. Thank you, Andy, for that lovely explanation of that glitch you just did. That was very good. Oh, I'm in the wall. It looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the warp because of you. All right, so sorry. <laughs> Moldorm, the only weapon that we actually can get to damage damage him in this run is the hammer. That's why we have we are forced to do him this late. Takes three hammers, so I'm just gonna follow him around. Gonna hammer his dead body too, because I hate this guy. We got $50 from Jake the Game Snake, who says, I got home just in time to catch. Since we've already seen this part, can I read some donations? <laughs> <laughs> this host and couch are priceless. Good cause, good laughs. All right, so since we're already on Death Mountain, we're just gonna go to we're just gonna go to Turtle Rock real quick. Real oh. quick. 
Uh, real quick. Quicker than you can do it. There we go. I can't do this at all. I'm not the one in the chair, though. I believe in you, Andy. I mean, he's already, he's already doing it, though. That's why I believe in him. <laughs> mm. There we it's go. He's trying there to mirror is. on the transition screen and get this nice screen wrap. Hey, there's a, there's like there's a the door there. Spot. Oh, look at that. That was real quick. Man, can you believe that this is the end of Turtle Rock? It's amazing. Not taking the bait. <laughs> so we do need that small key to open this door, but big key or the try next door is already unlocked, so we don't need to worry about that. It's another instance of item dashing, and really convenient to making those blocks line up. I like that one. That's really impressive. How are you doing that? I use my thumb. Oh. All right. So try next. We have to to rod the head and then hammer it. Oh, he's making a nice floor. That dirty little son of a gun. Whoa. NHL 94 Ooh, blocked you, dude. Ice floor is not good. It'll be fine. Mm. Do you know they call him Trinex because he has three necks? <laughs> you know, I never really thought about that, but it makes perfect sense. That's why they call him Trinex. Do you know they beat the boss while you're doing that? Who? That's your cue, Rip Killer. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, $50 from Randy D, who says, Is this guy's Twitch name really Andy? That's pretty sick. Sick, bro. Well, funny story, it's not always been Andy, but I'll decide if he wants to tell Don't make now. me come over there. <laughs> I will give the controller to Patty so he can mash buttons. Sorry, dude. I can do that. <laughs> I think. <laughs> $200 from Dresley, who says, What? What? Sorry, right, that was probably really that loud. That was <laughs> really loud. Yeah, that actually really hurt. Good morning, uh, everyone. $50 from JCL, who says, Can't understand any of the glitches in the Swordless Run, but tell Andy and the couch they're explaining it really well. Kill the animals, save the late night banter. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> already laughing at that one. <laughs> What? <laughs> they said we were explaining the glitch as well, so... What? Who is we? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Oh. Right, so, so I just clipped off of Death Mountain and transitioned downwards. It just so happens to put me in Zora's Domain. You can see the water's a little muddy right now. Um, we didn't give the game enough time to load the proper color palette, so it's trying to pull the light blue from the... Uh, Brown? It's trying to pull the light blue for the water's edge, but it doesn't have that, so it's just using brown. Thanks for letting me finish, Patrick. You stopped. I thought you said it was muddy. Yeah. This man's trying to do a speed run. You're going to pick his, his color He scheming? wanted me to do this. <laughs> All right, so up next, we're going to Gain's Tower. You gotta kill Aghanim too. It's a really scary fight. I probably should have gotten some help there, but we'll be fine. Can't believe you didn't kiss your grandpa goodbye before going yeah. out for the day. He just wants to give you his love. So similar to the other clips off the bottom of Death Mountain to go to the top, we're gonna be doing the same thing just on this side so that we actually fall into the staircase of Ganon's Tower. All right, so now, uh, mirroring on a conveyor belt uh, messes with Link's momentum properties uh, pretty significantly. So I can just mirror on this conveyor and hold down, and I'm just going to go into the wall. Uh, 
Come on. There we go. Place a block and... Hey, we're at the top. Yo. Uh, the screen... <laughs> screen's a little messed up. Um, we also only have the net or the hammer to reflect these balls. So... Uh... Yo, the double. Wow. I'm impressed. Same. All right. Not as impressed. <laughs> Four? What is this? Nope. Now I'm really impressed. <laughs> Shaking my head. All right, he's there. Rip kill a go. All right. I'll wait for the applause. Thank you. Uh, $10 from Rename, who says, this is a species of fly in Thailand. Here we go. <coughs> <laughs> Parastratus fecomia tratatos fecomiodes. Thank, Thank you, you Rename. Thanks, Rename. <laughs> That was, that was well done. Oh, man. I'm proud of you. That was a good attempt. I heard someone made you say pneumono ultra microscopic silicone caniconiosis earlier. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so here I'm doing a stair clip. Because there's no railing on the edge of this staircase, on a very particular uh, X pixel, I can move for one frame and uh, clip into it. Enough so that I can get around that railing and just jump over the wall into the floor. So Agnim is another one. Uh, <laughs> Ribkela, please stop. <laughs> Again, it's not easy, is it? Just sitting here reading words. Agnim is another one of those bosses that has a required sword use to cut a curtain, um, which we don't have. So I actually have to do another potion glitch here. I'm really proud of you for not using the empty bottle. <laughs> Same. I've done that more than I'd like to admit in the last week. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. All right, so this is the Agnum 1 fight. Uh, he has five attacks per cycle. Uh, the first attack is a guaranteed yellow shot that you can reflect at him. And attacks two through four are a 50-50 chance for a yellow shot or a blue ball. Blue ball. Uh, which, as you can see, twice already that so you cannot read. Uh, oh, not the legendary GDQ 15. And then the fifth attack is this lightning, and then it repeats itself until he's dead. He can still miss. He could still miss. He's got I the have net. done that before. Show off. <laughs> I like that you're keeping him grounded, dude. Like, he could miss. He probably will. I'm pretty sure he watched me miss last week. I did. <laughs> All right, two. Two. Wow. Better than average. I'll, I'll clap for that. Rip kill, go. Yeah. $10 from Jed the Jedi. Really enjoying this run so far. It is, dare I say, spudtacular. Patty, you got, wow, you got look owned. at that, man. You just got owned. That's a horrible attempt at anything close <laughs> at to At least a he made an attempt. I'll say it's um, better than being a quitter. $50 Debate. from Andre, Andre, who says, as my fiance says, it's the pug guy. Happy to donate <laughs> during Andy's run of my favorite game. As a member of the pug farm, there's one thing I must do. Save the animals. Pug leader wants to kill the animals, though. It's time for a coup. Sounds like you're not gonna have many people in the pug farm when you get back. <laughs> it's too real. It's way too <laughs> real. <laughs> All right. So uh, last two things we got to do are swamp palace and ice palace. Swamp Palace is uh, probably one of the worst dungeons in a speedrun sense. Probably in a regular sense, too. It's an awful dungeon. 
Wish you could do these glitches on the GBA version of this game. I like that version better. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset you? I have nothing to say to you. Amazing, after all of this, that was the thing that really made him upset at you. You made him miss the quick warp. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I tried to go for a, a neat little Annie Fairy skit, but I, I'm i bad. <laughs> Gave a nice little hug. Yeah. Thanks, oh. Ruby. <laughs> Gonna, I'm gonna say something here, and I might be wrong, but I, I think that this dungeon's pretty much normal if you had more donations to read. There are a few. $25 from Secretly a Velociraptor, Not staying anymore. up until 5 a.m. from the whole <laughs> Zelda block. What even is sleep anyways? If the couch gives us a pretty good, what? I'll donate again. What? what? We have $500 from Program Max. Ooh. Our boy. Says, hey, Andy, good luck on the run. Oh, that's it? That's it. He, he donated about, <laughs> really? Yeah. He donated about how bad I was last time. He donated $1 for every time I messed up, and he donated $1,000. <laughs> Thanks, there. Max. Love you, bud. $25 from Zuki Kaji. Hope I said that right. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Actually, you seem to be doing just fine without a sword. Never mind. Wait, you've been doing this whole run without a sword? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> uh, $10 from Bagel of the Future. Shout out to these couch potatoes. First time watcher, long time donor. Put some cooked animals towards the donate money to charity incentive. Good fun, have luck. That was a good one. That was. That I, was a good one. I like that one. Five dollars from Blake123. I like the part where Link was in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so like half the game. Fifty dollars from Tony Blue eighty seven. A chance to hear a potato pun. That's not a rehash. How appealing! Should be pretty easy when you're surrounded by your best spuds on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're looking like a clown now, dude. <laughs> anyway, just come sit here. Sit here, Patty. Come sit over here, buddy. Anyway, this has been my favorite GDQ from start to finish. Well, see you later. <laughs> Wow, you got owned. Oh, boss fight. Sorry, go ahead. But as you can see, this boss fight is really intense. Um, Man, you in more than an RPG, dude. Tonic would be would not, <laughs> not be proud, proud anymore. anymore dude. <laughs> if you don't know, the link to the past menu is actually incredibly bad. <laughs> As am I, <laughs> uh, apparently. All right. I had some time to fester. I think I got one. You probably could have come up with a potato pun there and you really didn't deliver again. I tried to come up with a good potato pun quickly. I'll just cut you off there, Patty, and I'm going to start I, reading some donuts. But I didn't want to russ it. $20 from Anonymous. Loving the beard guy. <laughs> Thanks, Anonymous. <laughs> they didn't want to put their name to no. it in a minute. <laughs> I like the beard guy, but I don't want anyone to know. <laughs> So Ice Palace, um, if you've been watching, you know, we don't have the Titan's Mitts, and uh, there's a nice black rock in the light world that you need to lift up to uh, to get there, and that needs the Titan's Mitts. So we got to we gotta 
screen wrap around that. This is a super easy screen wrap, too. Yeah, nothing can possibly go wrong. $150 from J130. Rip Killa, do your dance. <sighs> nice. I've been told I can't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so 2014. Wait, what happened on stream? Link went crazy and then ended up in Ice Castle. There was a screen wrap. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I mean, he explained it, but... Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was gone for a little bit. Uh, no, you were right here. Just let me have this. <laughs> so the reason that screen wrap was actually pretty scary is because... Um, if you go too high up, like I had to walk upwards before I transitioned right to cause the screen wrap to happen. If you go too far up, you actually hard lock the game. And that's it's no bueno. Let's see. Okay. Wow. That was for you, FB, if you're here. Do I have some time to redeem myself with a donation? Uh, quickly. Okay. $5 from Sumichu182. Hey, RK. Sumi here from behind the tech station right next to you. I have a present for you. <clears throat> Brisk, brave, brigadiers, brandished, broad, bright blades, blunderbusses, and bludgeoning. Oh, I almost made it. Balancing them badly. <laughs> I love Sumi. Brandishing. Was that wrong? What's the thing on it? All right, so Cold Stair. Uh, he's a pretty, he's a big old, he's three big old puffs of cotton candy. Doesn't really sound that scary. <laughs> Let's give him Patty the shivers. Literally bad frame memories. perfect. <laughs> Not even hard. So that fight, uh, the actual cold stair puffs do four hearts of damage, and the ice that falls do two. They split diagonally or cardinally. It's random, and that's <laughs> it's not fun. No. Nope. That's all I got to say. All right, so that's that's the last dungeon, right? Yes. So coming up, we got the Ganon fight. It's actually quite interesting to see how it's done. Yeah. Um, so there will just be a, a quick, one more click, quick, click, quick, quick click. God, you right. are This infectious. is a donation screen. I'm going to read some. <laughs> $10 from Sushi Slap. Hey, guys, you are doing a great job at SGQ. Andy, I loved your role in Toy Story. Good luck finishing the run. <laughs> Can, can I just stop now? <laughs> Buzz Lightyear to Star Commandy. Come in, Star Commandy. You could come up with that, but not a potato. Star Command me. I also saw one on the screen down here that said, all these potato puns are Yukon gold. <laughs> I mean, at that point, just like a pun involving red. Red potatoes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh my god. I 
just can't clip thinking about all these red potatoes. Hey, there it is. All right. So coming up on Ganon here. Pretty, yeah, we are. It's an interesting fight. It's actually faster than the fight with a sword. So you can see here that we're, we're in Hyrule Castle right now. Time. Yo. That definitely wasn't world record. All right. So well, that was the link one. to the past sword list. With, with mashing, get it mashed potatoes. I get it. <laughs> People are better at puns than me. <laughs> oh my god. Give me a break. Good run, Andy. Thank you.